Hey everyone, Daniel with DCF Garage, and today what I'm going to do on me and my gorgeous wife's 2015 F-150 is I'm going to try to get rid of something that's been annoying me for a while. And if you have an F-150, you know what I'm talking about. A drive shaft clunk, when you go from accelerating to coasting, then you accelerate again while you're at 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour. You feel that when the drive shaft engages again, uh, you feel and you hear a slight clunk. It's nothing bad. For what I've researched, it's something that is relatively common with F-150s, but it's still annoying. And I found out that it's probably due to lack of lubrication inside the spline. And as you can see, there's basically no grease, it's bone dry. So we're gonna lube this up and uh, put it back in, but I'm gonna show you guys the whole process, so stay with me. Before you start anything, just make sure you check the wheel because you're gonna have to put the truck in neutral and take off the parking brake so you can lift the truck I'm gonna put it on jack stands so the drive shaft moves freely. And I'm gonna use an impact wrench. So I got an electric impact wrench here. Uh, my bolts are really crusty. This truck spent its uh, first three years in Canada. So they're kind of crusty and rusty. So I don't think I can take them off with a regular wrench. So I'm gonna use the impact. So I have some brake cleaner over here to clean the splines. And this is the actual lubricant that you're gonna need. It's a, I think it's a Teflon based lubricant from Ford. And the bolts are the 12 millimeter star pattern. And I have an extension here so I can uh, use the impact wrench and get the bolts out. So let me lift the truck, put it on stands, and then we're gonna get the drive shaft out. Now that I've got it on jack stands, you can see I can freely move the drive shaft. And this play, which by the way is absolutely normal to have some play, right, in your drive shaft. But when you go from accelerating to coast, then accelerating again, because of the lack of lubrication inside the spline where it connects to the transmission, you get that clunk, right? that clunk and this is what we're going to try to eliminate this is you know this is something you have to do every you know once in a while i've also marked the flange with the uh, with the drive shaft so when i come back i put them in the same position and don't risk running into any drive shaft vibration so let's pull this out bit rusty last one I don't think my drive shaft is gonna fall off but I'm just gonna support it with my leg and then we'll probably have to tap it in order to come off tap it with a hammer yep yeah as I suspected it's not gonna come out so let me get a hammer and let's tap it. All right, so you wanna hold the drive shaft so when you tap it doesn't fall off. You don't wanna tap the aluminum part here, the actual drive shaft. You wanna tap, you know, where the flange connects to the to the U-joint. So I'm just gonna tap it here. Let's see, I'm gonna go around and give it a few taps. Yeah, I mean, they, it has really binded with the rust. Yeah, I can definitely see it's loosening. All right, all right, so it's out. As you can see, pretty crusty over here. I'm just feeling the U-joint. The U-joint seems fine. I'm gonna pull the drive shaft from the spline from the transmission, so let me reposition you guys. You guys can see. 
just gonna pull, and I'm not gonna lie, it feels bone dry. And it is very dry. All right, so I'm gonna put some brake clean here on the spline. Let's get this cleaned. Just be careful not to drop your, your drive shaft or that will likely damage it and cause some vibration. All right, so let's get some of this remaining grease off from the transmission over here. All right, so I'm just gonna liberally apply this PFT grease over here, which is the right grease for the drive shaft, at least according to what Ford says. And I don't know how much I need to put, but I'm gonna put a lot because the spline is kind of deep. All right, so now I've got the drive shaft kind of pre-positioned where I want it to be. And I'm just gonna slip it in the transmission like so. I'm just gonna wiggle a little bit and it goes right in. All right, so now that we've slid the spline into the transmission, I'm just gonna come back here, pull it back a little bit. Just kind of wiggle. So let me make sure I've got things the right way they should. So I got my marks aligned as you can see here. It's hard to drive the screws by hand. So I'm gonna drive them as much as I can. I'm just gonna put it in. And once I know they're in there in the thread, I'm just gonna come with the, with the impact gun and just take it gently. Take it slowly. I'm not gonna, not gonna drive it all the way through. So let me drive one side, then the other. All right, now I'm gonna tighten it. Now the. For what I've researched, the torque is supposed to be about 70 to 100 pounds. I couldn't really figure out the exact torque that you need to put in these. So I'm just going to use the impact gun. My impact gun is not very strong. I think it's rated for 450 pounds of torque, but only if you use a, a 20 amp uh, socket with the right, you know, uh, electrical extension. So with the setup I have here, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna exceed 150. So I'm gonna, just gonna go by feel. But you know, if you guys wanna, wanna get a torque wrench and properly torque this, I completely understand. All right, that's it. Yeah, looks good. Everything is torqued. Everything seems fine, except for the fact that this is one crusty flange. But that's it, guys. Now, let's go for a ride. Let's see if we can feel any improvement in the bump. All right, so me and Gorgeous wife were out to test the truck in the country road. Um, you guys are not gonna be able to hear or feel, obviously, but you're gonna have to trust my judgment. So normally the clunk happened when I was just cruising around 40, 50, I take the foot off the, of the gas and then, you know, apply the gas again let me try. So I did it once, didn't feel the clunk. Okay, so here's the deal. The clunk is not happening as it was happening before. It did happen once, but it's, uh, it was very light, light clunk. Couldn't really feel it. It was more pronounced before. And now 
nine out of ten times it's just not happening so I think this pretty much solves it and I'm pretty sure this is something that you have to do constantly I mean this grease is probably gonna last another couple of years and then the clunk is gonna be back again so this is just a regular maintenance thing that you have to do you have to pull out the drive shaft every two three years maybe when you start feeling that the clunk is more pronounced just clean relube the splines again and just slip it back in all right so that's it it sums it up for the video if you like the video if this was useful to you don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing thank you